watching The Simpsons now compared to when you're a kid. Kid is different. Whoa. I've done that. Wow, we. <laughs> wow, we. Wow, we, my man. The, the thought that you just realized the directors put into it, but you didn't notice back then is like. Bro, Simpsons is low key deep and self aware. Yes. And the, like The Simpsons during my time, like during like when we were growing up, like between those years was really good in that sense where it wasn't just like people just think oh you know it's just a silly tv show hold on a second yeah. watch it when you're older that's an adult tv show right there i tell you that right, marge and homer having sex every couple episodes yeah they're having super self-aware references to like politics i and, know uh, uh, culture the, the way they depict marge and lisa in their stereotypical uh woman roles. empowerment yeah yeah but they were so ahead of the curb yeah like the way they they wrote for Lisa with her being this young woman who intelligent, yeah, who had a leadership, yeah, she had a voice for um, equal rights in yeah. her own work in her own ways. Uh, questioning, she was a, she, like an intellectual portrayed as an intellectual child, so yeah. she questioned the natures of her reality. And then Homer too. Homer has some. Like we do not obey, we do not disobey the laws of thermodynamics <laughs> in this house, right? He has these moments where he'll just drop like knowledge bombs, like fucking uh, Ernie, um, like Homer's. I think it was Ernie. Homer's got, uh, one of his friends he works in the power plant with, right? Yeah. Do you remember like the there's um I think it's Ernie, the, the I was gonna say white guy. There's Carl and then his friend. Yeah. You remember? Got it. Fucking, he dropped like a nutrition science bomb on me and I was just shocked. Really? What? He just said something about saturated fat and that, like the th evidence has not been substantiated, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, whoa, stop the fucking show. And you know what the thing is though? <laughs> that that was years ago. Like, yeah, 90s. We're, yeah, we're talking about now like where like, oh, everyone's getting into it now. But bro, oh, holy they've shit. They've been on it. Yeah, they're on it, man. Come on, And son. I wish I, like, I wish I understood that when I was a kid. Like I look back now, I'm like, oh my God. Wow, we, <laughs> wow, we! I tell ya. Oh man, it's it's uh. Did you know that? Um, there's a little. Intro Do you wonder why all the characters look similar? Have you ever wondered that? Like some of the characters look similar. I never knew why, but I, if you can en enlighten me on this. Well, I can enlighten you. Wow, we. Wow, we. Wow, we. So. Okay, so you know Krusty the Clown, right? Yeah. Krusty the Clown was actually uh, originally... The original idea was that Krusty and Homer were going to be the same character. Okay? Yeah. Have you ever wondered... Just stop and look how similar Krusty and Homer look. Do you have a photo there? I do. Let me turn my laptop without destroying this podcast. Okay? So they oh didn't... My. God. They did an episode together. This is it. They did an episode together where where uh, Homer and Krusty were the same. They they like Homer became a clown, right? It's not clicking. You see that? I don't know if you see that. Oh, I see it. Right? I can definitely. That's yeah. Homer on the right. He's dressed up in his clown makeup. That's Krusty on the left. They both have the same beard. It's just different hair, and different complexion, and some makeup, right? They were cast as the same character. Homer was originally going to be play Krusty the Clown. And he was going to live a double life. And so it was going to be this ironic thing where Bart saw his dad as a buffoon. A silly guy he'd always poke fun at. Yeah. But Bart looks up to Krusty. He idolizes him. And so the, the, the thing would be, the irony would be that throughout the show that Bart would look up to Krusty and, and um, look at Homer as... An idiot but they would play the same character and so that was going to be how they were going to tell the story which i thought huh that's it's quite it's quite interesting it's that's a bit intelligent yeah quite intellectual right but then they realized well this is going to be way too complex for us to uh prolong throughout multiple seasons so they scrapped the idea yeah. but originally it's why the, i think that's why they look the same because that was the original idea it makes sense and that's it's amazing though like that at one view from Bart's perspective, Homer is just a, like you said, buffoon. A buffoon. <laughs> and then from like another, that. at Krusty's perspective, he idolizes yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. It's like, 
there's there's um there's fascinating things in these television shows and movies that you don't realize until you look back. Yeah, definitely. once you've grained some more brain cells. 